Now, you see that we're in black and white, and that's because we've gone into infrared, which means we're using a light that the animals can't see so that I don't have to blind our lion, but we can still watch him as it gets dark, because now it's starting to get very dark here, and there you can see he's still walking down the road. Isn't this cool? So we're seeing in a wavelength of light that is not easy to see at all. Now, I'm just going to try and see if we can't pull off here there's a little gap that we're gonna pull off now and we're gonna let another vehicle come past again because this is how we do it so we have to go in and out in and out in and out and we'll try and see if we can't get to an area just now where we can get in front of him so I can show you his beautiful face and his really nice big mane because he's got such a pretty mane this male nice and dark and big Ah, oh, Lani, you're wondering, are the lions friendly and why don't they attack? Well, the lions are not friendly, it's just that they don't attack because they are habituated. Now, habituated means that they are used to the vehicles. They know that the vehicles are not going to hurt them, they're not going to steal food from them, and that's why they don't worry about us. Also, as babies, their mom hasn't taught them that we are food and so they just see us as somebody that is just moves around much like a tree almost except that they don't really want to come too close to us because we're still a big object and you can see look he's rolling around in dung at the moment so there's probably dung from a buffalo that he's rolling around in now the reason that they do this sometimes is to try and cover their scent a lion smells a certain way and so some animals out here will be able to smell that lion and know that there's a dangerous animal close by so what he does is he rolls around in the buffalo dung and that then masks his scent and makes it difficult to be able to actually smell the lion and he can walk around without being seen as much but isn't he beautiful at him now I don't think he's gonna lie down for long I'm pretty sure he's gonna get up soon because he's been walking all afternoon and now that he's finished rolling around you'll find that he will decide to start moving again just trying to see if I can't find a better way to see you because I know there's a bush in the way but unfortunately I don't have any space to go anywhere else so we'll just have to try and sort of watch him through the bush at this stage here in the Sabi Sands there's lots of trees in the around and so sometimes we have to just see things a little bit through the trees itself but isn't he funny that he's rolling around all over on his back there we go now he's back over again and look at the teeth do you see how big his teeth are he's got very big teeth and he needs those big teeth because when he catches food the two or well, the four big canines on the top and bottom of the jaw they're going to be used to try and kill the animal that he catches and then he's got other teeth in his mouth on the side that are like triangles and those triangles will basically cut little chunks of meat off and that's how he eats it's a little bit different to the cows and the other animals that will use big flat teeth to grind down the food and make sure that it is all in small little bits the lions just want big chunks and they'll then cut those chunks off and then eat them look at the size of his feet as well you see how big his paws are so Nehan you want to know does the lion have a name well Nehan he does his name is Tinyo which means tooth and the reason why he's called Tinyo is because if you look on his upper left jaw so where his paw is at the moment he's mith missing a tooth there and that's why we called him tooth is because he's only got three canines and not four so when he walks around sometimes his lip just goes in and it gets caught a little bit and that's how we can tell it's him now hopefully he'll roll over and I can show you what I mean but his name is Tinyo and he is from the coalition called the Birmingham coalition so the Birmingham's are the four boys that walk around together and they are our dominant males and they've grown a lot they were new males last year and in the last year they've gotten much much bigger and their manes are getting nice and black and that's because they're dominant the mane when it's when they first are young little boys is a sort of goldy color and then as they get darker and i mean older so they get darker because as they produce testosterone so they produce a chemical called melanin and the melanin darkens the mane and makes it all black like this which then shows the females that they are strong males and also shows other males that they are big strong powerful males and mustn't be played with are you having fun big boy there we go up he goes again
And is he going to roar for us again? Now, like I said, unfortunately we are at the back of the line again, so we're going to have to just let him go, and we're going to wait for the others to come past us, and then, but he is going to roar again. So we're going to try and see if we can't get him to roar again for us. It sounds like he's just starting to warm his lungs up. And hopefully soon he's going to be let out another big roar like we saw just now. Right, now we're gonna try and see if we can't get to the front again. And while we do that, Byron has got the complete opposite of a line and has got a little bunny to show you.